What is up, comic book fans? It's Tim here, and today me and a special guest will be starting a new series on my channel called Why So Nerdy. This is a series dedicated to talking about comic books only, and my special guest here today is the comic book Uno. Hey guys, I'm glad to be here. I'm excited to talk about some comic books. So today on episode one, we're going to be talking about the Batman and Robin series. Where is it right now? Where is it leading up to? Who is going to be the new Robin? And just a bunch of questions that have been, you know, floating around for a while in the new 52. So we're going to get started by talking about basically a quick recap of what happened after Damien died. We all know he did die in Batman Incorporated issue number eight. So that was pretty sad right after the death of uh, the family story arc that happened. And then ever since then, Batman has been mourning the death. He has been on the hunt for uh, Damien because Ra's al Ghul stole his body. And then basically, yeah, it's been about a year or two now. Or it's been, what has it been like a year since uh, Damien died in Batman Incorporated? It's been about a year. It's been a yeah. while. Yeah, so like it's almost yeah, been it's like been a, while. a whole year of comic books and we still don't have a Robin. And uh, Robin Rises Omega, which is coming out 716, uh, is basically going to bring up our new Robin. And if you look at the cover, which is going to be on the screen right now, you can see that um, Damian Wayne is in a casket in the middle of the Batman symbol. So, like, what are your thoughts on this? Like, do you think Damian Wayne is going to be coming back from the dead? I honestly think he is uh even though that's not my personal preference i don't want damien to come back now i don't have anything against the character i think he's a cool character i just think his death wouldn't mean something if he's coming back so soon in this way in batman and robin and then batman eternal is going on so i feel like it's going to be pushed under the rug but i do think he's gonna come back uh, i just don't know when i don't know if this will be the issue or i think there's gonna be another one shot i'm not sure so i'm very yeah. indifferent on it because, um, like you were saying, like, because Batman Eternal is, like, a huge storyline going on right now. And, like, what are they going to do? Bring Robin back? And, like you said, it's probably just going to the rug. It's not really going to be a big deal. And I saw, I don't know if you saw this, but on, like, a back one of my comic books or something, when they had, like, a little, like, you know, at the end of every comic book, they kind of show, like, a new story arc, like, a little preview of it. Yeah. Well, I saw something for Batman Rises Omega, and it actually had a picture of Damian Wayne, like, in a zombie form. Like, literally, like, a... An average picture of Damian Wayne, but in zombie form. So, I guess he, I think he's going to be like coming back literally completely, not like how Jason Todd came back, but he's going to be coming back beyond the point of like normal normality. Like he's just going to be so messed up that he won't even be able to be Robin anymore. So if you did not know, at the end of Batman and Ra's al Ghul, which is the last comic book that came out for the Batman Robin series, uh, Glorious Godfrey, who is a part of the Dark Side army and everything, actually one of the head members, literally came out of nowhere in the middle of the fight between Batman and Ra's al Ghul, which by the way was awesome, and basically just was like, yeah, I'm taking over everything, so... Right when that happened, that's going to lead right into Robin Rises Omega and then Batman Robin issue number 33, which is picking off right from Robin Rises. So everything's going on to Apocalypse and everything. So my guess is that Damian Wayne is going to come back and possibly like fight for Darkseid or something because things are really just expanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, what you're saying about zombie Damian um, is really interesting because I feel this whole, at least what I read of Batman Robin, um, Batman was sulking a lot about Damian. He's like, I need to try to bring him back. I need to try and bring him back. And, you know, obviously Jason Todd came back. So I think it's interesting if he does come back with the Lazarus Pit and it doesn't work and he gets zombified and Batman's probably going to have to kill him. I feel like that's what's going to happen. Because I feel like I don't think Damien's going to come back totally. If he's going to be a zombie, I don't think it's going to be Damien anymore. And I think it would be a better story if Batman had to kill him finally. Because technically he didn't kill him. Uh, I'm, I know for Damien fans, they'll be very upset. But I think story-wise, it'd be something different. Yeah, like you were saying, like, that would be a really good ending. Because, like, it just I, I just can't picture Damien Wayne coming back. Now, here's a really big question. If Damian Wayne does not come back, then who is our real Robin? Like, who are we actually going to get as, like, our, just our Robin in the Robin costume? Because we know it's not going to be Harper Roy because she's Bluebird. Like, could it be, like, Stephanie Brown or, like... Mm -hmm. Like, who do you think... Who do you think that 
or Robin. I was Hood. thinking that Stephanie Brown's a really cool option. Yeah, I mean, like... I think it's Stephanie Brown would be really cool. I mean, the thing is, that she's spoiler right now, but that why bring Stephanie Brown? They say they need the right time to make her Robin for a longer amount of time. She was only Robin for, like, what, 10 issues when she was Robin. Yeah, that is true. She was, um... I, I would like her as Robin. Uh, she's pretty interesting. I like her story arc in the Batman Eternal comics, though. So I don't know how long that's going to last until, mm -hmm. like, we can finally get our Robin here. But it looks like Damian Wayne is coming back as like a zombie Robin for a little bit. And well, I want to move on to what's going to happen in Batman and Robin uh, issue number 33. I'm actually going to read the description and then we can talk about it. So the description reads, Robin Rises, picking up right where this month's Robin Rises number one left off. It's Batman versus the Justice League as the Dark Knight decides to follow the Chaos Shard back to its source, Apocalypse. So Batman versus the Justice League, why the hell would that even happen? Uh, yeah, that actually makes me confused. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I mean, we know from the Just League comic that he had all these things against the Justice League. If they're trying to tie in that, maybe, I don't know. But honestly, because it's now a team-up book, so I feel like that's the reason they're doing it. Maybe they're making it more of a verse book, Batman versus the Justice League, just because we've had it, um, a series to be such a team-up book since Damian died. Yeah, it really has been that, because I mean... The title Batman and Robin, it just couldn't stick, so they just kept on adding random people like Batman and Frankenstein. But uh, what my guess is that Damian Wayne might get like pushed into the dark side or like the apocalypse world, and Batman's gonna try going after him with all his might. But maybe the Justice League is like holding him back, like no, don't do it. It's not worth it. He's already gone. He's a zombie. So I mean that could probably be the reason why, because Batman doesn't randomly just go up against the Justice League, you know. But I hope that comic has some pretty good action. But uh, Batman and Robin issue number 34 is the next issue. And really, this is really confusing Like to talk about. Like, I mean, literally it was like, okay, Damien died. Then uh, Batman's mourning his death. Then we have the Two-Face storyline. And then, bam, Ra's al Ghul takes Damien Wayne. And then all of a sudden, Apocalypse just joins in. So, like I was saying, the Batman and Robin issue number 34 description reads... Batman's quest for Damian Wayne's body is about to take him further down the road to de uh, domination than he's never gone before. His first stop, Justice League, is Lex Luthor. So Lex Luthor is also going to get brought into this. We do know that Lex Luthor is sort of part of the Justice League as of right now in the New 52. So my guess is that just Batman is going to be uh, yeah. pretty pissed off at Lex Luthor. I mean, I guess he's also going to get brought into this. And maybe, because like Lex Luthor... Um, basically killed Nightwing already, so Batman hates him. <laughs> yeah, and it's tied in so well to Just League. If they do do that, I think that's really interesting. Just like you said, Lex Luthor almost killed Dick Grayson. He knows that he's Bruce Wayne. If they could tie into a Batman book, I'm happy to see that. Yeah, and then um, the Batman and Robin Futures End number one. I really don't think that's going to bring too much into the whole Damian Wayne storyline. Uh, have you saw the, the new 3D covers they're oh, doing yeah. for Futures End? I have seen them. They, they, I love the 3D covers, so very excited to see that. Yeah, I mean, they look pretty cool. They're just, um, my thought was like they kind of just did it for money because they did that for, they already did it last December. But, um, yeah, so the cover oh, of course, yeah, doesn't really have anything to do with Robin. I mean, we got Bruce continues to feel the fallout from his extreme new crime fighting methods. So maybe Bruce is just getting pushed to his, his pipe, uh, peak. I mean, like, seriously, like, he, like, Batman could not be going through a worse time right now. We got uh, Dick Grayson who died and came back, and now he's, you know, has his identity uh, shown around. Uh, Damian Wayne died. Like, the death of the family, the Joker came in and broke up the whole Batman family. Like, it was just, it's just really bad right now. But, um, yeah, just to uh, conclude everything that happened so far, we have the whole Robin Rises Omega and your thoughts were like, you know, I think, you know, Stephanie Brown should be, definitely be the new Robin. Now, what do you think, like, Glorious Godfrey has to do with any of this? Like, why do you even think Darkseid would have just randomly shown up into the, you know, land, uh, in the middle of the fight with Batman and Ra's al Ghul? I think they just needed a big name, honestly, because they wanted to bring in Justice League in some way. So, honestly, I have no idea why why they would do it. But I, I have a feeling it's more shock value than story value. Um, but we'll have to see. 
Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know if it's like there's a reason behind it. Like, was it just coincidental that the dark side portal just randomly opened up and like power demons are attacking everyone? Or was it like yeah. planned? Or like, do you think that the dark side of Glorious Godfrey wants, maybe they want Razal Ghoul, maybe they want like the Lazarus Pit to revive like some of the dark side's members and everything. So they just have yeah, to be maybe in the same place. Yeah. I mean, like, there's just so many things that could be happening right now, and really, I honestly, like, I like what's going on right now, but I really do miss our good old-fashioned, you know, Batman and Robin storylines. Like, I liked, before Damien died, I liked those storylines a lot better than what we have now. Oh, this yeah, is... me too. I mean, honestly, there is just gap that since Damien's not there, um, I think Batman and Robin's been suffering the most, uh, really, because, again, now it's just a team-up book, and I feel like a lot of people just see... Uh, oh, I could pick up oh this issue if I really like Wonder Woman, but I don't have to pick up this issue if I don't like Two Face. So I think uh, the book has been lacking a lot of sales because of it, and it's you know I miss the Batman Damian dynamic, um, and just the Batman and Robin series in general that was truly Batman and Robin. So it's a shame, really. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I just I was really hoping that like after uh, Rise of Omega we would get something, but for just from looking at the solicitations. Like, even by, like, I think this fall, I don't even know if we'll still have a Robin. It's just, it was disappointing, but, you know, maybe we'll get our Robin solo book. I really would like that to get brought back, but uh, you never know. But uh, That'd yes. be great. I mean, it would be interesting to Drake, because he's Red Robin. I, w I would deal with the Red Robin book. <laughs> I would, absolutely. I mean, we're getting the new Teen Titans book, which is, um, we're getting a little bit off topic. But, yeah, you, did you see the new Teen Titans book? Are you going to be picking that up? I have. I'm a little nervous because I don't love the Teen Titans for New 52. That's probably, uh, you know, a whole different discussion. But uh, I'm going to get the first issue. We'll have to see where it goes. Yeah, so just on the topic of Robin, Robin definitely could get his own book. I mean, we're getting Grayson, but I don't count that as, you know, Robin, of course. But, yeah, I think that's going to conclude everything. Just our thoughts on, you know, Stephanie Brown should probably come back as Robin. Really, this is getting concluded like we just needed we need this whole storyline to end pretty damn soon i mean the whole justice league getting brought mm -hmm. in is kind of just like whoa this is cool but like i don't really see the story behind it it's kind of just like oh look dark side but why you know so i guess it's Very okay shock i just value. yeah it's, it, it is it's shock value i just hope that soon we can get back to our good old batman and robin storylines that are good i guess you could say but yeah, so those are our thoughts on Batman Robin, where the storyline is right now. Uh, don't forget to check out Comic Book Uno's um, YouTube channel. She does lots of comic book reviews. Really good YouTube channel. It's in the link in the description box down below. You can also click the annotation on the screen. She's got tons of subscribers. You should definitely subscribe to her right now. Check out her channel and like this video if you want her to come back in more Why So Nerdy episode so guys thank you for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe for batman and robin